information, and it's critical to keep it private and secure. To tell you more about that, let me hand it off to Suzanne. Hi, everyone. From our first device to three billion today, we've designed security and privacy for everyone, no matter how expensive their device is. We've built game-changing capabilities for everyone, from file-based encryption to TLS by default and secure DNS, to prevent traffic tampering and data breaches. And since 2017, Google Pixel and Samsung Galaxy have continually received the highest security rating in Gartner's annual mobile OS comparison report. Simply put, the most secure devices run on Android. And with Android 12, we're going even further to keep your information safe. Let's start with a common experience, granting an app access to sensitive information. Turn-by-turn -turn directions based on your precise location are really helpful. But we recognize that this access can also raise privacy questions. To give people more transparency and control, we've created a new privacy dashboard that shows you what type of data was accessed and when. This dashboard reports on all the apps on your phone, including all of your Google apps. And we've made it really easy to revoke an app's permission directly from the dashboard. We've also added an indicator to make it clear when an app is using your camera or microphone. But let's take that a step further. If you don't want any apps to access the microphone or camera, even if you've granted them permission in the past, we've added two new toggles in quick settings so you can completely disable those sensors for every app. So those are a few examples of privacy you can immediately see. We're excited to share more on under the hood privacy, privacy that's baked into the heart of Android. As machine vision, speech recognition, and AI become increasingly beneficial, there are even more opportunities for the OS to be helpful. And to make it easier for everyone to embrace these new innovations, we're combining cutting edge features with powerful privacy. You heard Jen talk about the ways we're building private by design technology. Thanks to advances here with Android's private compute core, we're able to introduce new features using our unique AI capabilities while still keeping your personal information safe, private, and local to your phone. Android's private compute core enables things like now playing, which tells you what song is playing in the background and Smart Reply, which suggests responses to your chats based on your personal reply patterns. And there's more to come later this year. And by the way, all of the sensitive audio and language processing happens exclusively on your device. It's isolated from the network to preserve your privacy. And like the rest of Android, Private Compute Core is open source. It's fully inspectable and verifiable by the security community. Android is the first commercial mobile operating system to enable technically enforced privacy like this. And this is just one of the ways we'll continue to pioneer innovation while also maintaining the highest standards of privacy, security, and safety. And there's a whole lot more for privacy and security in Android 12 which you can hear about in our What's New in Android Privacy session later today.